Hello, Mo people, and welcome back to yes, another episode of MOP Episode Reviews. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing another episode from Season 6. I just thought I would cover a little bit more Season 6 because I've been doing sort of, you know, older episodes of the show. So I just thought I would crank out something a little more new. <laughs> um, but yeah, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the cart before the ponies. Now, this is sort of um, in between episode and I'll get get on to that in a bit but before that I have yet another MLP box to open um now I've already cracked this open took a peek inside and um I am satisfied with the results honestly um so it's uh Fluttershy the, I mean not a Fluttershy it's a Valentine's Day sort of thing um because because that little cute Fluttershy thing that I'm gonna pin up on my wall and then a nice little decal sticker that I'll I'll figure out some place to stick it maybe like over here on my merch shelf or something but yeah that's pretty cute and then um the main highlight of this box though um and I've already taken this out and took a look at it and I'm probably gonna wear this shirt tomorrow but it is a Doctor Hook shirt, and I'm not sure if you guys can read that, but it says the Doctor is in, and I think that is really cool. And yeah, I'll probably wear that tomorrow, but let's get enough of that. I love this box. Cannot wait to open um ne next month's box, but uh, yeah, guys, um, let's just get right into the review. So right off the bat, this episode was mediocre to say the least like um i i like the premise of it like the beginning um Shirley got a really nice chuckle out of me um <laughs> um at the beginning whenever she was teaching um the ponies about kinetic energy turning into potential and stuff like that um i did love how none of the students knew what she was talking about and um she was talking about the the Ponyville Derby or whatever, and um, I did like the premise of a derby that goes on for um, that has gone on for for a while, but um, I do like how it's that we got another little jab at um, Ponyville history and um, the history of the main six because we actually get to see how they did um, in the flashbacks um, <coughs> of the. Uh, like, whenever they were doing it as Phillies, and I really did like that. We got to see that. Um, but, uh, like, uh, I did like how, um, like, I know, like, whenever the episode was going to focus on the CMC, like, um, you designed a cart, like, for the Ponyville day, like, for the, for the race, you would design a cart, and, um, like, the, the most, the fastest, uh, the most creative and I think the most rustic design, like sort of, like sort of having a sort of rustic charm to it and everything. Like I was, ex I was actually expecting the CMC to like, I was expecting app, I was expecting Apple Bloom to do the most, the most rustic. I was expecting Scootaloo to do the most fast and I was expecting Sweetabelle to do the most, um, the most design, but no, completely switcheroo. Um, Scootaloo went with the m most design I believe Apple Bloom went with the fastest, and um, Sweetie Belle went with the most rustic one, and I really did like that. Um, and also the the cheerleader cheerily that I, I did like that. I'm thinking of doing um, some fan art of that and posting it to different places. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really did like that little thing. We'll get to see more character for cheerily that she enjoys cheerleading and stuff, and I really do like that. Um, and uh, also, another thing that really got a good laugh out of me was that we get to see, um, like, Derpy as a little filly, and, uh, <laughs> um, she actually won, and Rarity was just crying, and it got a really good laugh out of me. I, I loved that. Um, mainly because, one, Derpy was in it, <laughs> and two, it, it, it was just, it was glorious. I loved it. Um, but get, and, um, but getting onto sort of some of the stuff that, um, that was sort of eh for me. Starting off with the song. The song, while catchy, it sort of doesn't really add anything to the story. Like, I know that some songs do that, but this song just felt 
mediocre. Like, you could have taken it out of the story, and I don't think it would have it would have damaged anything at all. I mean, I mean, it's just a montage song, basically, because um, all the ponies are uh, racing down the, the derby and like, giddy up, derby racers, and all that. Um, but yeah, I just thought that that was sort of... It was a little unnecessary song, but it was still catchy nonetheless, and it and it had a good it had a good beat to it, and I, I I I still find myself listening to it from time to time and tapping my foot along with the music, and yeah, it's it's enjoyable, it's it's enjoyable, um, and also another thing that I didn't really like is that how the sisters of the CMC well Rainbow Dash doesn't really count as good as sister, but in my eyes she does, <laughs> but um. I didn't really like how the sisters didn't follow, like, what the younger sisters wanted. Like, Rainbow Dash wanted to be the most fastest, AJ wanted to be the most rustic, and Rarity wanted to be the most beautiful. But I didn't really get why the older sisters needed to be in this. I think it would have been better if, um, like, say, Diamond Tiara averted back to her, her villainous ways or another... Bad Pony came into Ponyville and then, like, messed it up for him. And then the CMC had to show that one pony that they were, like, capable of, um, they were capable of, uh, doing, like, a certain thing. Like, I just felt like that would have been sort of a better story, honestly. But, um, but, yeah, that's, that's just my opinion, though. I mean, it's whatever the show writers want, man. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I didn't really like how the, how them sisters tried to take control over it and then whenever it was time for the derby to actually begin the sisters were the ones in the driver's seats and they were going to make the youngest sisters sit in the passenger seats and i do love how the cmc didn't get in there and actually take their offer to heart because like like all of them are wanting to get in there with them so they could feel like they were a part of it but the sisters were just like, no, we'll sit this one out. Like, the younger sisters were just like, no, we'll sit this one out. You guys go ahead. And um, I did like how they took notice that the older sisters were actually not supposed to be in the race and it was supposed to be for the younger sisters. And I liked how they learned a lesson that not everything can, like, revolve around them. And, like, you gotta, you can't control everything that your sibling does. And I just thought that was a really good lesson. And... I did like how um, it was. It was cute to see Rainbow Dash and Scootaloo designing um, designing an entire float or like a car for for the uh, the uh, the Derby, and it was just like a big phoenix. And I really did like that. <laughs> it was really cool. Um, but yeah, that's honestly all I have to say about the carpet for the ponies. I still. Like, it would have been better if the song was better and, like, the sisters didn't try to interfere. But, um, yeah, that's the thing that's holding the episode back for me. All the other stuff was, it was pretty good. It was an overall enjoyable episode. It was just teetering, sort of, eh, for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, inside of a video, I mean, we opened MLP Box and reviewed an episode. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will promise, I promise you guys, I will be getting you guys a reading of Fallout Equestria um, tomorrow or Thursday, whichever one. But I promise I will. Just all of the chapters are really long and they're sort of tough to read through because uh, because some of those nights I have stuff to be, stuff somewhere to be. So um, I'll get Fallout Equestria out this week. But anyway. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Remember to keep calm and burrow the heck on. And bye guys.